Hi, I'm Rick Howard. In my job, I get to travel a lot. At least that's what I say at the beginning of our weekly videos. My favorite time of year is Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival. This year, Food and Wine Festival runs from September 27th through November 11th. And for the whole month of October, we'll be bringing you a new video each day from one of the festival marketplaces around World Showcase. As our guests, we'll have wine experts, chefs, and great friends because there's no better way to enjoy Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival than with food, wine, and great friends. Welcome to Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival on Travel with Rick. Well, hey, and welcome to another of our Epcot's International Food and Wine Festival days here on Travel with Rick. Whoa, we got a lot of people in this episode. Hey, how's it going, Jason? Good, how, how you are doing, you? man? Good to see you Good again. To you Good to see you, Chad. You're welcome. Good to see you, John. What are you doing on this side of the camera? Uh, every now and then, I break my chains, come out front because I love to be in front of the camera. Awesome, awesome. Well, you guys may remember Chad from last year's Epcot Sweet and Wine Festival. You and your lovely uh, other half, other half Kate, <laughs> were there. Yeah, and um, you guys helped us around the Food and Wine Festival. I think we were right here at Hops and Barley last year. Uh, I believe we might have been. Yeah, 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 yeah. Among others, and uh, that was pretty awesome. And Jason, it's just good to see you in Florida, man. It's good to be here. Yeah, you got a little time off oh, from, uh, from policing yeah. the yeah. areas of Anaheim and yes. keeping California safe from the riffraff out there. Right? It's good awesome. to be here. Good deal. Um, I guess we'll see Kate a little bit later in some of our episodes, yep. right? She's going to be showing up. But we wanted to stop here and... Uh, yeah, at this marketplace. Um, you you know, can I mean, call it, it that. It's a new marketplace. What's up with this, John? Uh, we, when we were planning all these episodes, we we knew that we were going to fill up October, and it worked out. We had it all worked out. We had 29 booths. We were going to do a wrap-up video. That would be 30. And then we had this idea to do uh, kind of focus on the Eat to the Beat series. And we were excited. 31 days. Then we get here. Yeah, it worked out perfectly, you know. And like all best laid plans, we get here. We open up the uh, the uh, you know the passports, and we look through it. And number fifteen is uh, the American Adventure coffee cart, right? Giving us a full total of thirty booths because 30 they booths. number them one to thirty. Right. And there you go. Here we are at number fifteen. Halfway. And this cart. I love this coffee cart, by the way. Great place yeah. to get a frappuccino. It's awesome, but it's here year round. It is. It's a permanent structure here at Epcot. We can we can get coffee. We can get uh, other uh, warm and cold beverages. So, soy milk, you know, for all you guys that are maybe uh, lactose intolerant, and wanting something that's a little easier, you know. So a lot of great options there. Yeah, but food. we didn't really consider it. Uh, yeah, they do. They got some great yeah, buns, some big, big pastries. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, a lot of stuff. We have no food on our table. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. We've got to talk about that generous grant from Kingdom Magic Vacations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but they put one extra thing on the cart and called it a stop on the market. Yes. Yeah, they did. And, and the irony is it's the American Adventure coffee cart, and their featured offering for the, the Food and Wine Festival is their shaken Jamaican coffee that can come either hot or cold. I would love to find out the thought process behind why they were going to do that. Not that I don't love Jamaica, not that I don't love shaking Jamaican, I just don't understand why it's the one thing they have the American Pavilion coffee cart. Stop it. Yeah, that yeah. Makes sense. But, but speaking of coffee, why are we here in America really? Well the real reason that we're here is, <laughs> is like I alluded to earlier, uh, where we are is right in front of the American Pavilion and right across the promenade is the American Gardens Theater and all throughout the uh, the festival they are having rock concerts, pop concerts for some of our favorite artists and uh, what we're really doing here is to uh, talk about the Eat to the Beat concert series. Right, because you know as we go around the Epcot Food Line Festival every year as we did last year you know and a lot of times at the end of our episodes we'll say hey it's getting about time for Sister Hazel to start playing one of my favorite bands you know and we'll say we'll see you guys tomorrow we're gonna go check out some Sister Hazel and we're always getting comments from you guys saying hey put a few of the music clips in there and we thought that'd just be a novel idea to use this year and do for you guys because hey we do like the Epcot Eat to the Beat concert series. It's Absolutely. just incredible, right? That's I mean, great. they bring some great bands in, right? Yeah, Chad? absolutely. So, Chad, um, as you guys may or may not know or remember from last year, you're in the music business as well, right? I, mean, I guess uh, support music business. I'm music uh, one business. of the uh, sound engineers for a touring act, so I, uh, I see things from the you know, on stage 
non-attendee uh, point of view often, so I get a different side of how the world works. And so we can name that act on camera, right? Yeah, Casey and the Sunshine Man is the act I'm currently with and have been with for 11 years, give and take now. So you travel all around the world with Casey, making yep. him sound good, making him look good on stage, I guess, or sound good? Sound good. Leave the rest of that up to KC or whoever does that for him. But yeah, you guys travel all around the world. I'll see your posts on Facebook and you're in Venezuela and Argentina and you know, just everywhere around the world, right? Always travel. Awesome. So, and I hear you used to be a sound guy. You kind of got this guy in the business, huh? Many, many moons ago, yeah. <laughs> many, many moons. Now I'm just a professional audience member. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I've been to a couple concerts in my day as well. You know? So we do have some great bands here. They're bringing back a lot of bands. And, uh, you know, to, and, and a lot of them come back year, year after year. I think uh, um, Sister Hazel said that this is their 13th or 14th year being here. Uh, Big Bad Booty Day has been closing out the show for as long as I can. They've been coming back for a long time. So, uh, a lot of great shows. Who are you guys looking forward to seeing? Well, I guess it matters who's going to be here while you're in Cal while you're here from California. Yeah, well, we're really here here this trip is uh, Sugar Ray and Edwin McCain. Mm -hmm. uh, I really wanted to come back and see uh, Smash Brothers from Southern last year and thought they were just a fantastic performance. Uh, I really wish I was here to see Spin Doctors. I haven't seen them. Yeah, we're not a huge fan. Yeah. Love them. Uh, we literally tried to see if there was hotels available and fly back for two days and oh, wow. they weren't available. It's pretty amazing that you get to see, I mean, you can go to all three shows, yeah. right? They don't limit you. I mean, you, you can see three shows of Spin Doctors, 545, 630, 8 o'clock. You see three shows. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that we talked about and found out uh, the other day was if you're a Visa card holder or a Disney Visa card holder, holder they have the Visa card holder lounge here in the American Pavilion. And if you go there, one of the things you can do is you can sign up to get a bracelet for one show on the day that you're here for uh, your entire group can get bracelets and you have like premium seating for these concerts. Right. I was real excited about that. Yeah, you got reserved seating. Uh, like John said, you pick one show for that evening for you and your party. Uh, just to clarify, you can get into the chase lounge with any chase card. Alright, so chase card, whether it be a Disney Visa or any chase card, will get you access to the VIP lounge. It's here at the America Adventure Pavilion this year. Um, they've got a great seating area there. We can go and relax. They've got couches. They have free, free Coke products, free water, free coffee for all chase card holders to go there. There's charging stations for your phone. There's televisions. You can go there and relax. You can just enjoy what's going on. Um, got a great view of Epcot, and it's right here close to all the action. If you're a Chase card holder at that uh, VIP lounge, you can get a wristband for illumination, for a priority uh, preferred viewing area of illumination. So it's usually over in the Italian Garden, or over in the Italy Pavilion. They'll tell you where that is, so you grab a bracelet for that. That's for any Chase card holders can get all of that stuff I mentioned. And as John said, if you're a Disney, Chase card, Disney Visa holder, you can get everything we mentioned, free beverages, seating area, illuminations, plus you can choose one show per night for your entire party for that reserved area uh, for the ETV concert. So it's a pretty nice perk. That's yeah. a great perk. Yeah. Yeah. That last year was a great nice perk. Yeah, so they hold those seats to the show all the start. You get a nice little front, you don't have to wait in the big long lines. I mean, we saw people lining up for Sister Hazel this year. Uh, 2.30. They're a popular Florida band, so yeah, there's another. Yeah. So what are we going to do, John? We're going to show some clips. How's this going to work? We are. We're going to uh, we're going to cut to some clips of some of the bands that we've got all throughout the festival, and uh, we're going to show those to uh, to everybody right now. Yeah. So enjoy the music, and uh, we'll come back to the end. We'll tell you what's more to come from Food and Wine Festival. We'll talk to some more of these guys, my friends, and tell you what we're going to be doing. So enjoy the music. We'll see you back here in a bit.
All right, so guys, let's get out our rating system for the bands. Uh, Sister Hazel, five. Oh, sorry. Five and a half. I got yeah, five. Yeah, I said we're not rating anything higher than five. Yeah, Sister Hazel, seven. You guys rock. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate you guys coming all the way from the range here. You know, the band that traveled the furthest, not Sister Hazel, but we definitely appreciate you guys coming. Uh, and uh, we enjoyed that, right? Great music. Great music. And as we said, three con three shows a night. Uh, Wait in the line, wait for the rope to drop, get a seat. If you're a Disney Visa, Disney Visa card holder, you've got the best thing right there. Grab one of those braces. And, you know, and I tell you what, just an overall, that Chase Lounge, I think moving it over here to the America Adventure thing is just a big move for the marketplace. Get it right in the middle of the festival. That's just awesome. So it's a great perk. You know, uh, definitely break out your Chase for the majority of the night. All right? yeah. And if I can say one thing about the lines, don't let the long lines uh, fool you or, or make you think that you're not going to be able to get in. The American Gardens Theater uh, is deceptive. They, they can put a lot of people in there. So even if you're seeing longer lines on the sides, go ahead and get in line because they'll probably have a lot of space for you. Because even for some of the earlier shows, the lines were really, really long. And then towards the end, we were walking by and they still had plenty of seats for folks. Plenty of seating. In worst case, you're standing in the back and still enjoying the music. Great sound all around. It's Great good. sound, yeah. It's a, good, it's a good place to see a show. What do you think about uh, about the shows that put on there from a, uh, the from ones, a technical standpoint? The ones you saw last year and then over here in June as well, uh, you know, it's a top rate. Uh, L acoustics, I don't mean that to you and anybody that knows sound. Uh, PA system and uh, state of the art lighting systems. Uh, it's not something that's done halfway, it's definitely done top notch. It's a, it's a great technical show for that aspect as well. And you can just tell the bands that are here, they just really enjoy performing for this crowd. You know, it's a great, it's a great, it's a warm crowd, it's a great place, it's a great venue well, for them. It's not super deep, so it's very interesting to a lot of performances. So they right. can be up right close to the, the audience a lot of Right. Yeah. Interaction. Yeah. Night Ranger, for example, you know, they they get into the crowd, literally, you know, not from the stage. I mean, they come right out into the crowd. So that's definitely a plus. So. My favorite is during Mickey Thomas and Starship. There's always those one or two people during Jane with the cowbells. <laughs> hey, we all need more cowbells. Got to have cowbells. Yeah. It's hilarious. Oh. All right. So uh, the effects of the coffee are kind of kicking in. I guess we should rate the coffee. We probably shouldn't rate the bands. That wouldn't be fair because we, we, didn't, we didn't debut them all. We didn't, didn't show clips of them all. But we should rate the coffee. What do you guys think about this coffee? Getting that sugar rush yet? Uh, I think I'm going to go three. You're going to go three. Okay. Yeah, I'll give it a three. I think it's uh, a lot of sugar. You know, yeah. Just for yeah. decorative yeah. purposes alone, I think I'll go a three. Great presentation. Yeah, yeah good presentation. Mm -hmm. goes, I'll say three. John? Okay, just because I haven't, I don't believe I've done one this year. I'm going to break a bottle. So I'm going to say two and a half. <laughs> there you go. Right there. Break a bottle. Yeah, get to a half a wine bottle. That's awesome. All right, so we've got some great shows coming up for you. We told you a little bit about the Passport. It does have all the bands in there. You can definitely um, show them, John, how that thing works. You've got all the marketplaces listed in there. You've got all the food and all the beverages, beverage items on there. You can check off what you had. Uh, you can make some little notes in the margin saying what you like, what you'd like to go back and try again. It's really cool. As we said, it's got the e b concert series at the beginning. Got all the boost list at the beginning. You work your way right around from one Terra all the way to, yeah, 30, counting this little coffee booth. You know, 30 is craft beers. Thank you, uh, you know, American beer or, yeah, American coffee cart. You know, for including yourself in the marketplace this year. We're glad you're here. Thank you very much for being a new addition. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> All right, yeah, we picked on Singapore enough. We picked on the American coffee cart enough. But Singapore, that throwdown between Scotland is still looming out during your future. It is coming. It is coming ever sooner, every day. We get closer to finding out who does get to drink that nastiest of all drinks, the Singapore Slate. Me or Bob all in WDW. I'm betting on Bob. That's what I'm betting on, John. I am as well. Yeah, I'm hoping, I'm hoping the Haggis pulls it out for me and we squeak Scotland out over Singapore. I've heard good things about the Haggis, so. Yeah, yeah so I'm, that's, I'm yeah, haggis. so either Haggis or a Singapore Sling is living in my future, maybe both. Better you than me, brother. <laughs> Better you than me.
using me. All right, guys. Well, listen, thanks a lot for following along with us. We've got a lot more days coming up. We've got a lot more guests. We've got a lot more food. We've got a lot more beverages. You'll be back, right? You, will. you and your lovely friend Kate. We're looking forward to seeing her on an upcoming episode. You and Tom will be back as well, oh, yeah. right? You when we're not here, we're at the bar, so you know we're fine. I'll, I'll know where to look you up. Yeah, yeah. We'll be checking you out. John, you'll be back for sure. Right? I will. You've got to be here. Yeah, right? I'll, I'll, yeah I'm here every day. <laughs> one, one way or the other. One side of the camera or the other, you'll be back. Right? Yes, sir. I'll All be right. here. And guys, I sure hope you'll be back. We look forward to seeing you. We look forward to telling you what we're enjoying. I look forward to meeting you, handing you one of these great buttons. Um, I think they're great anyway. And most of the people we've been handing them out to by the bucket loads, they've been enjoying them as well. So we'd love to see you here. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Can't wait to try some more of this great food and wine. Look forward to seeing you guys. Cheers. Bye.